welcome to Thailand, the country where things run a bit differently. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the things that you shouldn't be doing. I'm also gonna be sharing with you some real stories from real people that can save yourself a lot of money and save yourself getting arrested. By the way, I do not endorse any of this behavior. The law is the law and you gotta play by the rules. Number one, no shirt, no underwear, no license, no helmet. These are the four things that's gonna get you stopped driving around here in Pattaya. There's three main police stop checkpoints and I'm gonna show you right now on a map exactly where they are. Okay, so here we are at Big C, but we're not going inside Big C today. What we're looking at is this map of Pattaya. That's where we just was, outside Central there, right in the middle of Beach Road, right on the front of town. That one there is one of them. And then you've got another one. If you go down Beach Road to Walking Street, just at the crossroads there, there's another police checkpoint. And then there's another one. If you go all the way down Second Road to the next crossroads, and there's one on that corner as well. If you look here, you've got one in the middle, one on that corner, one in that corner, and that is is smack bang in the middle of Pattaya. So if you're going around this little section here with no shirt. So this means you can't ride without your t-shirt? No helmet, no ID and no underwear. You're likely to get stopped by police. They stop people from early in the morning till the late afternoon. Oh wow. And they're doing this all day long. What does make different? And I've actually got a story to tell you about this, about a guy called Andrew. And let me sit down and tell you. I met this guy the other day called Andrew and Andrew was telling me how he was driving around with no shirt on, got stopped right on Beach Road. The police officer said to him, look, you can pay 3,000 baht now, or you can go over there, stand in a line and mess about for a few hours and pay 2,000 baht. And he chose to pay the 3,000 baht there and then. And what he did was he paid a fine and then he went round again to the second checkpoint, which is near Walking Street, and the police stopped him again. And because he didn't keep the receipt for the fine, they made him pay again. So he had to pay two times, 6,000 baht in the space of about 30 minutes. If you are driving around with no shirt on and you've got no ID, you are likely to get pulled by the police. So don't break the law. Number two, now you've got to be a bit of an idiot to get caught out with this one. And I myself have actually done this one and got in trouble, but there is a few ways that people do actually insult the royal family here. So funny story, I was with my ex thai girlfriend about seven years ago on my second time to Thailand, and I had all my money all over the floor, and I thought it'd be a good idea, me being the monkey that I am, to pick up the money with my toes and my feet, and then next thing you know, I get a massive whack around the back of my leg, and she's screaming, she's going mad at me, I didn't understand why and it was because I picked up the money with my feet and it was like putting your foot on the king's head. So while I was working on Soy 6 this one time a guy actually went up to the roof of the building and he was chucking thousands and thousands of bar right off the roof and it was sharing the whole way down the street and there was money getting trampled on everywhere and then after that the bosses said yeah stop doing that now we can't allow it because it was you know insulting the royal family stepping on the king money was getting trampled on everywhere but I have seen it happen since. I don't think they can enforce that rule. If a random Korean guy comes here for the first time, he's not gonna know the rules. By the time he gets his money out and throws it, you know, it's gonna be too late. Number three, online gambling, having over 120 cards and border casinos. So let's talk about online gambling. It's illegal and you shouldn't do it. People that do do it, do get caught. I actually know this for a fact because Donny told me a story about a guy in his bar that was gambling online. What happened to him? Well, Donny's here himself and he's gonna tell you the story. Donny's got his own bar and he saw a guy playing on these online slots, which he can get access to, even though they are illegal here. And he was winning quite a bit of money. Tell him what happened, Donny. What actually happened that he went to Soy 6 first and just before he went there he was playing uh, some online slots and he won about $20,000 and obviously it can get you quite happy to win uh, a good sum of money and he was just bragging about it showing the girls and after that he came to my bar just to talk a little bit more about uh, his winnings just having a drink like 30 minutes an hour later the police showed up and they picked him up and they took his phone and they start checking everything I don't know how the how it ended up do you think someone they might have been tracking his phone 
known? Or, no, no, or, no, no. Or do you think someone like one hundred percent? Some, someone, so, some of the girls, someone that uh, when he was showing the girl that he won the money, some of them just called the police. If you're doing these illegal things here, and um, people have got a chance to like grass on you, snitch on you to the police, maybe get a you know a bit of money from the police for doing that. They're gonna do it. That's just something you need to look out for. Just in general, if you're doing something that uh, you don't feel it's uh, like a one hundred percent right, don't think that ev everyone around you simply won't care. Now, if you do want to gamble in Thailand, the thing you're gonna have to do is head straight to the border because on the border of Laos, Lao, however you say it, there's three casinos, one by Udon Thani, one further down south and one up north, I think. And they're right on the border and people cross these borders daily just to go and gamble. And lastly, if you're holding over 120 cards, you're gonna be breaking the law here. Police can arrest you for doing this and they can lock you up, they can make you pay a fine. You're gonna get in trouble if they catch you. Or you can just stick to the lottery tickets. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>
video out with a bunch of stuff that's going to be irrelevant and you know not really going to have any relevance to you. It's good practice to learn the different laws from different countries. When you're in your own country you might feel somewhat comfortable bending the rules, you know how to get away with things, but when you're in another country, when you're in somebody else's country, Thailand or Southeast Asia for example, it's good practice to get to know the laws and get to know how things work out here because the last thing you want is some policemen knocking at your door or getting stopped in the street and having to pay a 6,000 baht fine for something that you had no idea of.